Hello there, it's Stieg Plantel. This is how masking works in Animate CC. Wherever you want to not see the character, you're not going to paint. Wherever you want to see the character, you're going to color that and put everything into a mask layer. So you'd right click this and go mask if you want to do that everything under it then gets assigned with an indent. So what happens is I've taken the right moment here. He flips. That was done this way. This is how it would look. If it was, uh, might want to color that in. I hit B. I've selected red just for strong demo here. But when you don't see the character, like here, between these two frames. See how the back end of his body goes behind the wave logo element? That's because it looks like this. There's nothing painted there, but everything else is indeed colored in. So, let's see. Boom. Boom. We should probably, it would be great to color this one by by uh, copying, copying what you've done. Don't do more work than you have to. Control Shift, paste in PC, con Command Shift V to paste in a Mac. Layer Properties. Okay. Right there is where you're going to want to see more tail coming around here. So let's make sure that's right. Locking it and going comma and period to toggle frame by frame through there. But it looks like his nose is disappearing. Let's find out why. Because there's no there's no uh there's no mask there. So think of this you're painting a mask where you want to see. I guess you could think it of where you want to see after you remove the mask, like you would do in the real world when painting something like your house or a movie prop or a costume or something. It's a little bit reversed in my mind, but maybe it makes sense to you. But I just thought I'd make this point so that if anyone is confused, this will help. So there we are. I'm going to go paint this little bit right here. B. B. I'm hitting B as the brush. Oh, I do not need that right now, camera. B. I might have hit C on my keyboard while I was talking, but no problem. You can recover and see that indeed this is the technique. You just lock your layers so you don't ever paint on the wrong layer because that really sets you back and is no fun. And there we are. Masking in Animate CC so you can tuck things, tuck characters behind elements in the scene and not have to erase that beautiful flow that you've drawn into your character. So this might be a good way to approach that as a solution. Happy animating!